All right, I want to post a video sharing on cases. So I've gone a little crazy on cases lately. So you've seen my videos on the Rome cases up there, how to maintain them. And if you haven't, link is in the description on how to make sure that those last. So now this video, I'm talking about these cases. That's the Zarg cases. Made in Germany, they've been making these for a couple decades now, military use originally and now general public. They are badass. This is the um, Radius Outfitters. I love these because it's a little bit more cozy. You're not going to knock your head against it, bring them inside the car. Um, great storage. And you'll see there's dividers and everything in those. But I'll be going over these a little bit more in detail in another video. So just bookmark, subscribe, like the video if this is helping you in your decisions for how you're going to carry your overland equipment. But the primary reason for this video is we're going to go over detailing these. So this one's brand new. So it looks really good. And we'll look at it in the, sa in the shade and the sun so you can kind of see this one's used. Again, maybe 15, 20 years old. So this one, I'm going to detail it. Right now, you can't really see, but there's you know some markings on it that can be detailed to look nice and clean, like that one. But even this new box can be slightly detailed, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So neither of these are cheap, but they're keepers, right? But yeah, you can go to Home Depot and get one of those yellow and black or Lowe's yellow black bins, you know, for 20 bucks that snaps and breaks and you go buy it and replace it and replace it. They don't last but a few years and putting them on the top of your vehicle, forget about it. That's where you, you want to go the roam. And I show a video on how to um, basically protect those from the sun. Because if you see in the top right corner there, those are getting sun all day long. I'm in California and look at those, that gray and that black case up there. They look like new. So same thing. This lives inside your car. So these should always look great. They're beautiful. I just love how these work. A little snap, lift it up. You got dividers inside. Um, that's the first aid kit there. So when you're about to travel, you know, this is where you put either sundries, dry foods, um, you know, beside your cooler, or you put your clothes, or you put your favorite whiskeys. I mean, you name it, but it's traveling in style, and that's going to last forever because you're going to maintain it and take care of it because when you have nice things, that's just what you do. Now this, same thing. These last a long time. They're aluminum, so they are subject to oxidization in the sun. They're subject to scratches and dents and the like. So I'm going to show you how you can maintain and minimize that. So let me take these two cases down. The other crazy thing about these cases is they're light, super light. That's the key. So they're the lightest, most durable. You can even use these as your you know luggage because they come in tons of sizes. They literally have sizes. Um... Sorry, I had to stop to see what the dogs are barking at. They usually don't bark, they're usually quiet. Anyhow, so these come in tons of different sizes. You can have it as you know stowaway luggage when you go on the plane, pack it up because the containers themselves don't really weigh that much. It's aluminum, but they're durable as can be. You can lock the cases, the latches, the handles, everything's top quality. But this is the new one. And you can see how it, it's it's not like aluminum where it's like perfect mirror. If uh, if you guys subscribe to my channel, one of my crazy videos that got, you know, 600,000 views is how to polish aluminum wheels. So I have all those products, the products that won the best. Um, but in this case, yes, you can use that product that, that won my you know the best aluminum polish but there's some other products that actually you're going to want to consider for maintaining these cases this one look at those scratches a lot of scratches i did test some products here you can see how that's mirror like and here not so much right see the reflection of my hand versus here and reflection of my hand on this it's pretty good so Let's get into it. I'm going to take the, this case down and I'll show you how we're going to clean it up and um, and then I'll show you how to maintain because this one can't, even though it's brand new, it can use some touch up and you'll see what I mean. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off is getting the gunk off. So I'm going to be using 
these two products. So Unisolve, this one is actually light on your hands. It's, it's made for removing adhesive tape. This goof off is a little bit more aggressive. Make sure you put a glove on. So um, I tested both of them. I'm gonna use this. Let me show you um, a little closer on the case here quickly. So you can see on this case, we got a dent. Really nothing we can do about that. I'm not gonna go see Ding King. But you could see there was a sticker here that I already removed. And there was a sticker here, which I tested this area. And you can see this is super clean because that sticker was put on since inception. So you can see kind of the difference. You see that line of how it's scratched up. And then that, when I pulled that sticker off, it left these little void things. It was a Zarg sticker that was on there. So I'm gonna hit the goof off on there and just kind of clean up the case. I think even on the handles, that goof off is gonna help a little bit. So let's hit that first. Good old trusty rag, kind of let it sit in for a bit. Yeah, I can already feel it's nice and smooth getting off some of that gunk. But this is the main area. Oh yeah, coming off. So as much as you need, obviously I'm gonna go around the whole case. You don't need to see all that, but the goof off to get all the adhesive stickiness off. Then we're gonna hit it with the polishes. So that's the key part to see here. Okay, I've been working on it for about 15 minutes. Went over all the different sides. And for the most part, the gunk is gone, but you can see those deep scratches, at least on the lid. Everything else seems to be pretty good. Um, one thing, if you are using the Goo Gone, be careful here, you will start taking off some of the lettering. It started going black a bit. So that's why I have the second adhesive, the one that's a little bit more forgiving for skin, for hospital adhesive. That's the, uh, that one, the Unisolve. So use that there. And I'm gonna actually power wash this as well. Give it a good wash. And I think there's a sticker on the back or on the side here. I started taking off with a razor blade and I'm like, you know, this sticker's having problems. I think I need to get it wet, soak it up a bit and then blast it off with my power washer. Why am I using a power washer? Because it's gonna get in all these little nooks and crannies all around there. Before I use the power washer, what I think I'll do is actually hit it right away with the different, um, let's see here. These are, well, this one we're gonna use last. That's the secret weapon, okay? Hold that thought. But, you know, these are the top ones. This one, especially the blue, um, blue magic. This is one that you're really not gonna find many places, but these all seem to perform the same on the aluminum case. Maybe the Blue Magic, the best, you'll see it brings up a lot of black tarnish, but I'll hit mostly the top of this case. I wanna show you, I did a test on the, um, on the new case on the bottom, right? Cause you're not gonna see the bottom that often. So, you can see how nice the lettering is on a new case. So on the bottom of the case, you see my legs there and the reflection. So it was kind of that faded aluminum dullish looking look, but it was very even. So when I polished it, to me, it's a little too shiny. So I do like this finish. And believe me, there is a difference between that, the facade, and that the base is I made it a little too shiny so on this one I'm glad I tested it on the bottom I'm just gonna be nice and easy and go with um, just that Sheila spray everywhere you're gonna see the Sheila spray works wonders I had that in the house because the wife puts it on the uh, the fridge it gets rid of all the fingerprints if you have stainless steel or aluminum I think it kind of acts a little bit like the goof off, but with a polishing um, aspect to it. So that Sheila uh, spray is gonna work best, which we're gonna finish everything off with that. But first on the bad case or the older case, that's seen some, some action over the years. I'm gonna now hit it with the, uh, the drill, 
with the Griot's Garage Dense Orange um, sp uh, Sponge uh, or pad, if you will. So it's like a detailing pad for cars. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to actually get a brand new one. You can see all the black that's going to come off this. So let me get it set up. Hang on. This is what I'm using. So it's the Griot's Garage little correction pads. So this is a, usually they're three inch. This is like a little two inch one. So I'm gonna put it on my Velcro pad that's attached to the drill and go to town. Okay, I literally emptied the rest that I had for this, but I'll have a link here that goes to Amazon where you can buy these. I think it's like just over 10 bucks, 11, 12 bucks for one of these containers. Um, so that's as cheap as it gets. So that follow that link if you wanna get the Blue Magic. And now let me get the, uh, the power drill going. You can see how it's going a little black. That's the tarnish that's coming up. So in the time of uh, saving you for watching this whole thing, let me hit this whole thing. And before I wipe it, you'll see what it looks like. You can kind of see where the sticker was. There's no black tarnish because obviously it was clean. And look how that orange pad has gotten pretty black. Um, so I'll wipe this. I'll do a couple rounds and I'll use some of those other polishing products. But this is going to take a couple couple layers here. So that's round one. I'm going to wipe it down. I'll do round two. And I think I'll use the, um, I'll try that silver bullet from High Luster next. Now, look how black that is. That's round two. We see it's getting easier to come off each time. But there are definitely some embedded swirls in there. Someone took some sort of, I don't know, sandpaper or something. So let's hit it again and see how much cleaner we can get that. Okay, what's interesting here is I got a good coat, a thick black coat of um, the Pro 40. And I used a 320 grit on that. I do have a thousand, which I think I'll finish it off. And I used the Pro 40. So you could use any of these polishes, by the way. I'm just showing you different ones. But I went in a direction like so I went in a direction this way because that's kind of like the natural um I guess the grain of this aluminum. So just like so nice and light and kept it in that direction. And then I'll move, I'll wipe that off. I'm gonna put another coat of my polish and I'm gonna to move to a 1000 grit. That's with the 1500 with like, there's three different polishes mixed together now, but the pad got so wet, I squeezed it out. It was kind of nice wet sand in one direction going this way. I think that'll help get rid of those uglier swirls. And now let's wipe this off and see what it looks like. Okay, I think now I'm gonna soap it down, power wash it, and get those little, you know, the little logos here, blast away here, some good soap and water to get rid of the rest of this polish, and then give it one final clean polish with a clean rag, and let's see what that does. So to the power washer. And before we power wash, I wanna show you what is inside this case. It's pretty darn cool. So it came with this packaging. So what I'm gonna do is remove the majority of it. And that way, when I power wash inside, it's not gonna ruin that. So all that comes out, it's pretty cool. I leave the sides on. So whoever, the previous owner of this had some cool product that they had in there. Um, again, badass cases, what can I say? So I'm gonna clean that out and then hit the power washer in case any water gets in and let's see. There's a nice little rubber gasket you can see that I think may 
right around the whole edge. So that might keep the water out. Let's see. It's a good test for that anyhow. Okay, so pretty much your typical Dawn dishpan soap, hand soap you have in the kitchen. So I've soaped and lathered this thing up pretty good and it got a lot of that rest of the residue of the uh, polish off. But I think my power washer is gonna do the best job. If I can get real close in here, it'll blast out any of the contaminants. But this thing's cleaning up really nice actually. So whoever the previous owner, they wouldn't recognize it. And I'm washing all the crimes and misdeeds or whatever this case was used for because who knows right this could have been packed with the cocaine or maybe you know a organ a liver who knows but now it's my case and it'll be packed with overlanding gear so it's kind of like that what's that movie the violin that follows like different people that owned it this is kind of like that violin it's it's a zarg case it lasts for possibly generations and it goes from person to person and they put different contents that's valuable to them on the inside so let's get the power washer started up and rinse this thing off okay it's going to be a little bit loud with the gas power washer continue to do that but it'll be interesting to see if any water gets inside okay this has been washed thoroughly I'm gonna have to dry it but moment of truth let's see on the inside if it withstood that power washing you know what it is dry well you know what I see a couple couple little drips in here but this is all dry. I think it's just, I see some water there. And if you think about it, this is like hurricane force winds and water. Like <laughs> that power washer, I had it on the red uh, nozzle, which is the hardest possible to get this stuff off. And then I hosed it pretty close. So check it out. I think that that turned out pretty darn good. It was way dirtier than that. I wish it would get all that stuff. I might have to put some paint thinner or something there and scrub it. But from where this was when I first got it, it has come a long way. So let's dry it off and then put what I would say is the most important maintenance um, product on here. So let me get this dried off and get to the next shot. So the case in front is the brand new one and the case in back is the second hand one. And look how clean that has become. It's actually shinier than the brand new case. But I gotta be honest, I do like that kind of faded brush look versus this shiny mirror aluminum look. Um, I did not do any of the sides of that one because it was already clean. It was just the top that took all the damage, the swirl marks. I got rid of most of the swirl marks by doing that wet sand. Um, so now it's time to put the Sheila's Shine. So you might be familiar with this product. Um, I think... I think it's the product you want to maintain it. So here is a nice clean rag and let's see how it does. Oh, there were some spots here I thought were scratches that came right off. Nice. Let's do this one. Oh yeah, I feel the Sheila shine because this older case, you know, I put all that polish on it and everything it's like removing any polish residue I'll get a close-up here for you in a second but look at that so the first case didn't give me any dirt the second case look look I'll show you again clean side Sheila spray oh yeah this case I mean this case is brand new but now it's brand new clean when they shipped it to me so see, now same side, let's do it on this one. The 
and you can see still tarnish coming off of that one. Why? It's seen weather. It's seen years and years and years. This one's brand spanking new. That one looks amazing. And this one, it's getting there. So let's put them up on the truck and wrap up the video. So I just put the Sheila Shine here on the side and you can see there's like really no dirt coming off like the top. I don't need to treat this old used case on the sides. The sides maintain their, their beauty and their luster. It was the top that was just heavily damaged. All right, let's get it in the truck. Okay, there they are returned to the truck. So look at that. That's with the Sheila Shine, the Sheila Spray. And remember where we could see that sticker in the middle? You can't see it anymore. Now, I honestly, maybe in a few days, I might hit it one more time with a light uh, Pro 40, just because I see like there's just kind of some spots, but the swirls are gone. That this, the wet sanding in the 1500 going in this direction um, definitely did that to make it look uniform. You do see a little bit of the, of the um, 1500, I'm going to say minute scratches in it. So maybe I could go back with a 2000. I might do that. But one other thing I'm thinking of, and you want to subscribe to see this, there's a company that makes a cover for this. You actually drill four holes, put a cover, and this becomes a step, a table, a seat, a step because it's just so strong, um, but yet so light. So that's pretty darn cool. So that's kind of the shine. So if you like a shine and you're going to redo it, that's what you're going to do. I would just use the Sheila spray on the uh, on the sides and on this one that that um, spray shine so I'll have a pro uh, a link for all the products in my description below uh, probably to an Amazon where you're gonna find the lowest prices Sheila shine I keep saying Sheila spray but it's Sheila shine it's for stainless steel but it works on this um, aluminum product so look at that. And people always wonder, what are these for? The uh, Alu box has it. The Zargs has it. It's so you can stack them. These actually stack up. So check that out. And definitely hit the bell. I'm going to be posting other videos where I'm going to talk about these cases here. I've got videos. I'll put it in the description as well for those cases up there. The Rome on top of Black Mamba, the Black 80 diesel, and just different ways that you're going to transport and store your gear. So I'll do a comparison video of all the different cases and I'm going to try to get my hands on. There's a guy down in San Diego. He's selling like a 1970s case. It's, it's twice as wide as this and it has, it's taller. It's got wood on the top. So cool. I want to get it, refinish it and add it to my storage for my overlanding. All right. So I uh, hope you liked it. Like the video if you did. That really helps, encourages me to keep posting some good content for you guys. And um, I'll have a link for uh, this product here if you want to buy it with 10% off. So I ended up buying one of these cases. I talked to them and uh, I said, look, I'm going to do a video. Can we in encourage people? Because, you know, the prices, it's, it's not cheap, but you buy it once and you're one and done because these cases last a lifetime. So 10% off for you guys if you buy um, the Zargs. Also a discount if you get this product as well. So check them out and, uh, you know, overland in style and overland in a way, way that excites you. You know, that, I think that's what's important. Like you got good equipment, you know, a Jeep, a Land Cruiser, um, you know, me, I'm a Land Cruiser, of course. So if you have good equipment and good storage, it gets you excited to go on your overlanding trips and to pack your stuff. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it and happy trails and thanks for watching and some other videos coming up, the big comparison of all the different cases uh, that I've uh, got here recently. All right, thanks for tuning in.